It's my day off, and I'm going to the mall, I'm gonna get Diana her Christmas present, and I gotta return some things, I almost forgot. And uh, I should get my parents their Christmas presents as well, cause Christmas is in like, what, three days? Yeah, I already got her some David German earrings. I'm gonna go to Louis Vuitton and get her this black purse that her friend Grace Bought, but she, but Diana picked it out, so Diana obviously likes it, so I'm gonna go get it for, I don't know what I'm gonna get my parents yet, but I feel like I'm just gonna go, like I already bought them these Bose speakers, but I feel like they're not gonna use them because they travel so much because they're retired now. Yeah, we'll see. I might return it and get something else for them. I'm gonna go get the purse. I'm gonna visit my girlfriend on um, on her lunch break, and she's not expecting it. We actually got in a little fight this morning because I told her to put some money in Robinhood, which is like this free stock trading app, but it's holding her money for 60 days. And for someone that's never traded before, it's really shocking, I would guess. Granted, it's not that much money, and she can do without it. It's just like, at TD Ameritrade, the, the broker I use, I can <clears throat> transfer it to my bank account in like less than two days. So, or three days. Just got to the mall and I'm returning these Alfani shoes first. If you guys ever, first of all, I... This is my second trip back returning them. I realize these are too big. They're fucking huge. They're like chuckas. I mean, they're pretty good quality for Alfani because the other shoes I bought from them, they're like really bad condition, just like horrible leather or so un uncomfortable. I had to return them. Yeah, that's what I get for online shopping on Black Friday. I was just like, oh, these are fucking cheap. I'm gonna buy them and I get them. I'm like, oh shit. That's why they're $25. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I returned all of them, made two trips, I don't know. It, I don't think online shopping's for me. Got some stuff for my friends and my dad. Now we're going to Louis Vuitton. Right. Just bought the bag. Alright, got the Louie, got my dad a travel kit because he travels a lot, Nike stuff, a bunch of hats for my friends, got like this fedora, this warm hat, got this for my dad, I think he'll look good wearing it with his gold Rolex, like he's like a mob boss or some shit. <laughs> And then I got this beanie that my mom or my dad could wear. And then my dad has a hat like this, which I don't really like the style, but he, he obviously likes it, so I got him a Levi one. I think that's probably cooler than the one he has, probably from Costco or some shit. <laughs> All right, on my way to surprise my girlfriend. I'm kind of deciding if I should get this on tape or not. You know, it might reduce the authenticity. Yeah, I got that feeling, you know, where you just like spent way too much money. Yeah. I'm gonna be eating sandwiches for a while. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, I am so blessed to have like made money in the stock market, you know, because it's it really is a hard thing to do. And it's like you can either lose a lot of money or you can make a lot of money. If you don't do your research and if you don't do your homework, you can lose a lot of money. So it directly is correlated with you know how much effort you put in to making those gains, whether it's money, muscles, you know, having that fulfilled life. 
what you put in, you get out. Now we're at Whole Foods, got some from the hot bar, got a little bit of everything. So by the way, I didn't have time, or I didn't have enough battery to record my workout. I mean, uh, at least get some clips of going to the gym or something like that, but my phone died. And I don't have a car charger for some reason, so just hit the gym, back at the house, got some groceries. It was a pretty good workout. I did back, bicep, and triceps, so it was a good, like, fun day, you know, like... You know, back's just not that stressful unless you're doing deadlifts. Show y'all what I got at Walmart. I got some medium shrimp, some beef fajitas by John Souls Foods. Never really had them before, but looking for something easy. Also got some Bertoli extra light olive oil. It's supposed to be good for sauteing, so I'm trying to be trying to do that a lot more. So I got the extra light, and it's organic. I'm trying to be more conscious of it. Cornstarch to take some moisture out of the sweet potatoes when I make sweet potato fries so they're crispy. Some tortillas. I really hate organic tortillas, so these actually taste soup a lot better. It's an American tortilla. Uh, got some Roman tomatoes and some lettuce. I like to shred it real fine. It makes everything a lot better, like these little um, fajitas I'm going to make. Got the sweet potatoes peeled. Big ass sweet potatoes. All right, after successfully not cutting my fingers off, I have all of them diced up into these French fries. And I'm gonna soak them in this water for about an hour. It's supposed to bring the starch out, so when you bake them, it's gonna be sweeter and bring out that sweet taste in the sweet potato. And totally optional, some chili powder. Now the reason why I like to use just a pinch of chili powder to with my sweet potato fries is because I love that tiny little bit of a kick that it gives to the They've been soaking in the water for about one hour. Get my cornstarch. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. Adding some sea salt, add a little paprika, got a little bit left over but we got two racks right here, just kind of spread them out a little bit so they can get crispy, but yeah, let's, let's get them cooking. A shredded salad. <clears throat> looks so nice and shredded that I went ahead and made a salad. I'm gonna add some Mary's Italian dressing. Looking pretty burnt. Like this one's real burnt. Oh, stuck to the, the thingy. Oh yeah, that's good. Wow, that salad was awesome. I'm gonna start doing that more often. It's just like, you know, all the surface area is taken up because it's shredded and it can fill the small gaps. And then when you put the dressing in it, it just like absorbs all the, the taste and everything. And then when you cut your tomatoes like this, it absorbs the dressing too. So it's like just jam packed with flavor. Only problem is these are definitely stuck to the thing, but you know, if you pry them off and eat them, they're actually pretty good. I just gotta put more Pam next time. Just dump the whole bag in. 
itself can be just a little bit more. Add a little bit more pepper. This is definitely not going to close, but I got a lot of steak underneath. Got some Roman tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, and salsa. <sighs> really, Blake? Almost forgot the jalapeno slices, but number two, definitely got them in there. Boom. Gorgeous. And got some wine to enjoy with my fajita. Fajita number three. Can't get enough of these fajitas, man. So good. Now we're at Taco Mac. Again. Getting nachos. Watching the Hawks. Keep his live feed of his car right now. It's Christmas Eve, just cut off work, and basically I'm going home, and I'm gonna change real quick, and I'm gonna pick up my girlfriend, we're gonna go see the Nutcracker Ballet. Um, it's my first time seeing it. Girlfriend really wanted to go see it, so we got some tickets. I heard it's pretty cool, so I'll, be, I'll get some clips. Having a little get together for Christmas Eve. I think we're ready. I got the handles of everything and some champagne. Yeah, let's do it. Well, I don't know how to put on here. It's nice, right? Yeah. I've been there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's my church and like all my friends and dads out there too. Oh, I've been there for sure. Yeah, I've been there. Traditional hot pot Christmas day. What's up y'all? It is like the day after Christmas and I didn't do shit all day but lay around and watch like this movie called IT where the, there's like a hacker and he hacks his house and he's like a pedophile and he's trying to like abduct this guy's daughter and uh, basically ate Reese's cups and ate tortilla chips all day 
in bed. So, what is the best solution to feel better about yourself? It's to go to the gym. That's what the gym's good for, man. Like, you have a shitty day, you go to the gym, you kill it, and you automatically have a good, productive day, man. So, that's what I'm about to do. I guess when I come back, I'll show you guys what I got for Christmas. Um, and, uh, we'll pretty much end the video. I'm gonna then upload everything and make the video, so. Merry Christmas. Just got to the gym, finished my pre-workout, creatine, and BCAAs. Thinking about going to like Walmart or Publix, get some steak strips, because uh, I ran out. Yeah. And thinking about food right now, I'm, my mom gave me some ribs. I think they're uh, beef ribs, or maybe they're pork ribs, whatever. But I gotta cook those. Wow, that was a rough workout, man. I don't know if it was just laying around in bed all day that kind of destroyed it for me, but it also could be that Reese, those two Reese's cups that I ate before the gym. It's like a, I'm sure I got some like chocolatey pre-workout sludge going on. I do not feel very good. I need to eat something solid. Um, so I'm on my way to Kroger now. I'm gonna see what I can get over there. Let me show you what I got at Walmart. Got some Tostitos, some 2% milk Mexican cheese, Mission Whole Wheat large size burrito things, beef fajitas because I'm on a kick right now, feeling real lazy and I don't want to cook any meat besides this meat because my mom gave this to me so I have to finish it up. Cooking the new wave, see how well, it cooks. I'm gonna overcook it and see if it tenderizes maximum to the maximum. Uh, got some onions, tomatoes, and lettuce because I want nachos on demand. Like if if anyone ever comes over to my house and they want to eat some nachos, I'm gonna cook them nachos. Cause I had some people over this weekend and they had some of my nachos. They love the nachos, man. They love nachos. So my girlfriend got me this Movado watch. It's a little thin, so um, we're going to see what else they have to offer. But yeah, I really appreciate the gesture. It's just, you know, when we get something so expensive, um, she wants to make sure I like it. And I'm going to see my options. I, I like it, but it's a, little, it's a little thin for my taste. I want kind of like a bulky watch because, you know, um, it matches my appearance, I guess. My parents, they got me this Nutribullet by Magic Bullet. I already have a Ninja Blender, but you know, this is way more compact and convenient. And it comes with this thermal cup and this stuff. I'm, I'm gonna try and do some of this kale fruit mix, try to be more healthy, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so it's a pretty good gift. I like it. And the, the iMac was a great gift. It's just, you know, I'm all about AMD, you know, advanced micro devices. And they're coming out with a new processor called the Ryzen. So it's like, that's all I want right now. You know, it's coming out in January or February and I want to build my own computer. It's going to be using the AMD processor, which is super low in energy com consumption. Uh, and it's it's like new technology, 14nm technology. So I'm really excited for that. So we're gonna hold off on the computer. She got it for me because you know, because of YouTube, and she wants me to excel in YouTube, which is great, you know. Like, and I have a MacBook Air, and that's gonna be good enough for now. It's just you know, 
if I'm going to get a computer, it's going to have to be like top of the line new technology. Like the iMac was i5 processor Intel. And, you know, I don't fuck with Intel like that, you know, it, when AMD is coming out with that new shit, you know. It's so juicy and bubbly. Oh, yes. So this is how you make nachos. You get the bite-sized Tostitos, you put a layer, and then you put a layer of cheese over it. All right, I got my layer of cheese on the first layer of chips. Then I got another layer of chips on top. I'm gonna put more cheese on top. Throw some onions on there. So it cooks with the chips. I had the oven preheated on 400, so I'm just gonna throw them in there. Sauteing some of these beef fajitas. Adding a little pepper. Chips look nice and done. And lastly, I'm gonna put some queso on there. Yo, look how amazing this looks. Perfection. Oh my god, I went all the way in. I put the rest of the beef on there. There's actually a ton of beef up in this. But um, got some queso on there, some peppers, some more cheese in the back. I'm just gonna add this uh, lettuce. I'm pretty much just eating it like a big ass taco. But uh, yeah, this thing's pretty epic. All right, time for redemption. I threw away the old tortilla and I put everything else on a new one. I'm gonna try to wrap this one up again. Boom, got that shit wrapped. That thing is massive. Oh yeah, success. Oh my God, guys, I am like super stuffed. Um, I'm just gonna end the video right here. Say bye, Blake, and uh, I'll see y'all next time, all right? Subscribe, like this video.